I started out in my career towards the end of the sort of Mad Men era of media and advertising and where they would make commercials with film cameras and they would spend easily a million dollars on a commercial for coffee and you know fast forward 10 to 15 years and it's a completely different world you know the budgets for making content have reduced to a single digit percentage of what they Definitely. used to be when technology makes things easier it also makes us lazier the majority of us are millennials here yeah how can we learn to have that kind of work ethic even though we are in a sense crippled with technology so what are some tips you would have for us well the first thing I would say is that it's not about spending money it's about finding ways to be uh, more decisive more selective more disciplined in your approach depending on what you do you could you could create your parameters that force you to be more structured you know one of the things I'm really excited about right now is crowdfunding. It's it's essentially filmmaking. Besides, you know, being emotionally driven in the video and, and I guess in how you market it, what are some other good tips that you would suggest? The strongest other one I would say is know your audience. You need to really start by knowing who you're talking to um, and what they respond to. And then really give careful thought to um, saying what you're going to say in, in the way that resonates best with them. The number one mistake, people make a video and then try and understand who their audience is oh, and send it out. Do it the other way around. Um, you know, if I were going to do another crowdfunding campaign today, um, I would probably put six to nine months of preparation in before I launch the campaign. That's why most campaigns don't succeed is because People think of it as a magic button that and money, that and money appears, and it's it's not. Mm. You really have to approach it like a science. What are some other aspects of preparation, right? So one of is research, right? So you should research successful campaigns. In that three-month period, you're evaluating up to 30 different campaigns. Mm -hmm. What the arc of the campaign looks like, you know, do they start off with a bang and, and get 20 to 30 percent of their target? Do they start off slow? Uh, time of year. I mean, I, I launched my campaign around Christmas two years ago. Big mistake. Don't do that. <laughs> I could have learned that lesson through someone else's campaign if I'd put in the three to six months of backing various campaigns and learning from it, you know. You know, as you start backing and pledging your campaigns, you might start to have ideas of who might be potential backers for you. Reach out to them early and I think always a, like a good scenario to have is if you can have a couple of you know, unofficial angel investors in your corner. You know, if you're running a 30-day campaign and there's no activity for a week, no one, the, like there's no movement, that's really bad because whoever has already backed you, those are your ambassadors, they're going to lose faith. They're going to stop spreading the word on their social media. And that's how momentum dies and the flame goes out. Have some kind of resource of, of you know, some big hitters in your corner so that when it does slow down, you can say, all right, Put in a little bit and keep the momentum going. Yeah, so at least you, yeah. at least you, you, you keep the people energized who are already in your campaign. You know, so you want to try and use tricks like that to see if you can even that curve out. You know, what you want to avoid is this. And then in terms of preparation, the other thing I would do is I would have the video done a month, two months before you launch the campaign, and I would use a platform called Wistia to test it. Wistia will tell you if they've watched the video the whole way through, uh, where people tuned out, That's good. whatever it is. So you you might you know you might think something in your video is cute or funny, but it's turning people off or, or it's causing them to tune out. Find that out up front. Is there a good length for a video for a campaign video? Shorter is always better. I would make that decision based on your on your research, like when you're backing your campaigns during your prep time compare the data on it and say, well, what's the average length of these videos? Let me come in 10% shorter than that. Filmmaking is a collaborative process. And what you'll find is a team of people who have different strengths and weaknesses, but they find a way to, to work in unison. Any team of, of filmmakers takes time to, to evolve. Put more time into establishing the right team. Figure out how do you get the right people and I would de-emphasize the expertise and I would strongly emphasize the collaborative working relationship. You know, time is the ultimate equalizer and it's the ultimate 
uh, resource that we all have less and less of. So if you can be creative and strategic about giving yourself more time to prepare, I think you're going to see um, an exponential improvement in your results. People become filmmakers because they're a little bit nuts. You know, there's, there's, yeah. It's true, yeah. yes. There's something about uh, attempting the impossible, you know, which is very entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. Adrian, that was awesome. Let's give him a hand.